guys, it's Janet Hello Rigby, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my digs and duds for September of 2016. We're now in October. I can't believe that the month is already gone and we're already into like a full, full on fall. It's so crazy how it's already October, but I feel like I say that every single month. It's just true. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the favorites for this month and a few things that were just not. All right, so first up, I'm going to be talking about some of my favorites in beauty. So the first item is the lip combo I actually have on my lips today. I got sent a... Um, a package from Influencer. If you haven't signed up for Influencer yet, it's free to do so, and it's not just for influencers, it's for anyone. Um, as long as you like sharing about products that you love, beauty, food, all sorts of stuff, they send out um, packages every so often, and it, you just have to do a few things, like share on Instagram, share on Facebook, blah, 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 whatever. Um, you probably already know what Influencer is, but if you haven't heard of it before, I'll link it down below and you can sign up. I don't get anything if you sign up, so don't worry about using any special link, it's just the link to their website. Anyway, I got a package from Bite Beauty and it is for their um, product called Multi Sticks and I am wearing the color in Blondie and it is super pretty. It is a nude color as you can see on my lips. Um, it's just a really nice neutral nude color, maybe a little on the warm side, but I really like it and then I paired it with this LA Colors High Shine Gloss and this is in the color... Um, CLG 949 Fresh. It is their High Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss. It's a really good color match. Um, it's a little bit darker than it, just ever so slightly, and it's really glossy and it's not sticky or ta like too terribly tacky. It feels really nice on the lips. And it just adds some hydration to the matte formula. So if you're not a big matte person, I always like having a gloss that's neutral on hand to put on the top of any drying matte lipsticks, um, especially this time of year now that we're getting into the months where I'm even drier. Anyway, those have been my go-to lip combo this month, especially the Blondie lipstick. I've worn it matte and I've worn it with lip gloss and I love it both ways. Um, in terms of skincare, I did a, recently did a sponsored post with Oz Naturals and they actually had sent this to me before I um, was working with them on that sponsored post. I just so happened that I already had this um, from a PR company that contacted me about it, which was so nice because this product is awesome for dry skin people because it is hyaluronic acid um, with a few other ingredients but what I find is this is really great to use all over the face and then I use it in combination with their vitamin C serum which I focus on areas that I'm really concerned about wrinkles um, so I have a couple of wrinkles on my forehead not gonna lie it's just how it is and I concentrate the vitamin C serum there and then I use this all over everywhere else because I'm dry and I find that the vitamin C serum um, is very firming and it does make my skin feel a little bit dry so I allow that to set and then I put this everywhere else and I find that it work, works really really well and in addition to the vitamin C serum something I found that's really helped with wrinkles um, preventing fine lines and wrinkles is this firming DMAE moisturizer from Derma E they sent this to me in a PR package a couple months ago I didn't even know it was coming it was just kind of like a surprise little gift and I tried this out recently um, because I was like ooh firming Hmm. So I use this on my forehead only because that's my area of most concern when it comes to firming and I just put this on that area at night and I find that the next morning my skin feels really hydrated. It looks nice and plumped up and I don't know that it feels any different. It doesn't feel like super firm like you know in an irritated way. It just feels like my skin looks better and it looks moisturized. So really like this. I've also been using a hyaluronic acid moisturizer which I find is really nice as well. In terms of foundation I've really been loving the Laneige BB Cushion this summer. This is in the color Fair and if you're not familiar with cushion foundations what I like most about them is that they're super hydrating so I tend to be on the drier side but the thing I like about this one is it has that BB cream texture. It's very lightweight, very moisturizing, and it also has sun protection in it, which is awesome for summer. Now that we're into the more fall months, I'm still using this foundation for now, but we'll probably switch to something a little bit more coveragey because I tend my skin tends to break out a little bit more in the cooler months because it gets more dehydrated, which causes my pores to get clogged. But for now, I'm still using this foundation because I do really enjoy it. It's really nice and hydrating, feels good on the skin. 
skin and it's not irritating. I do have sensitive acne prone dry skin, which is a difficult combination, but this is a great foundation. The other product I want to mention in foundation, which is completely different, is a moisturizing foundation stick from e.l.f. And I talked about this on my Instagram recently because I went to New York City and I needed something that was travel friendly. I didn't want to um, have to fill up my bag too full with liquids. So I chose the stick foundation because it doesn't have to go in your liquids um, when you're traveling. We um, flew with just a carry on. I didn't want to check anything. So I used this because of that reason and I ended up really, really liking it um, because it also stayed put all day throughout like intense humidity. And even though it's moisturizing, I didn't find that it moved at all. It's not too moisturizing. It's also not too drying or matte either. It's a nice in-between foundation and I think it would work for pretty much all skin types because it's not too moisturizing and it's not too drying. So it's a good happy medium for most people. May not work for super oily skin, I'm not sure, um, but definitely normal combination and dry skin will really like this. And I have this in the color ivory and it's a great color match for me. I've also been loving the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Palette. This has been such an amazing palette. I didn't expect to love it as much as I do. It was pretty pricey, and unfortunately I think it's now unavailable, but I will say that Nordstrom has a habit of bringing this out at special sale time. So it would not surprise me if they brought something similar out this coming Christmas. So keep an eye out for any of these Look in a Palettes because they are super awesome. Um, she does sell a lot of these products um, on their own as well. These two are the Hollywood bronze and sculpt and then these are her blushes um, in, let's see, it doesn't say what colors they are, but I'm sure it's one of the ones that she sells in full size. And then this across the top is very similar to her Dolce, Dolce Vita um, eye palette, like the little quad. So if you're in the market for a, um, a good new high-end brand to try, I would definitely recommend Charlotte Tilbury. I've especially loved the blush and the eyeshadows are super awesome. The bronzer and the highlight are pretty, but I think they're, they might be just a tad too dark for my, um, my winter skin that it will be appearing. I recently got my very first spray tan. Shout out to Rain Glow in Seattle, who is awesome. You should definitely check them out if you're interested in spray tans in the Seattle area. Um, but these two became a lot more of my color um, this last week, but now that my spray tan is on its way out, it is starting to look a little bit too dark for me again. So these will these are definitely great um, for light to medium skin, maybe not so much if you're super fair like me. Okay, totally random, but another favorite this summer has been the Dorco Shy Razor. And if you're not familiar with Dorco, they offer a budget-friendly razor system. So their razors are more, like about half the price of what you pay in the drugstore. It's like $6, you get two cartridges already and then the refills are much much less expensive I've paid up to $15 for refills so anything less than $10 is a win in my book and you can get a whole set for less than $10 from them which is super awesome and it performs just as well as my drugstore razors this one reminds me a lot of the chic hydro silk which I absolutely love and I really do like it I but I like this one just as much and when it comes to replacing razor blades in the future I'm definitely gonna lean towards Dorco because it just is more cost effective. And another product I've absolutely been loving is the It Cosmetics Brow Power. I've been using this actually off and on for a while, but I recently used up the last of my Ardell brow product. And so I grabbed this out of my bin of all the items that I need to use up and have been loving it and realized why didn't I keep using this? I have no idea, but it is a great brow product. It's what I have on my brows today and it's what I've been using recently and I just feel like it, it does a great job of both being not too warm, not too cool, and it really just is easy to use and is pretty much foolproof. It's got a really nice spoolie on the end. It's nice and big and fluffy, which is really useful when you're blending out your brow color. And um, combined with the Essence Make Me Brow, I find it to be perfect sets all day and my brows look great. So absolutely loving this as well. So that is it for my favorite beauty products, but I also wanted to talk about a few fashion items that I've been digging this month. Um, I picked up this hat at Fred Meyer. Oh, I'll have to go back a little bit. There we go. Get it all in frame. Um, it is from the brand D&Y or David and Young. You can find this at your local, oh, there's a little fuzz on it. <laughs> you can find this at your local Fred Meyer. I think Nordstrom also carries this brand as well as like Nordstrom Rack. Um, I've seen it a few, I'm trying to think of where else 
else I've seen it, but you can definitely look it up online as well. And I'll also link it down below, but I just really like this hat. I used it when we were traveling to New York, and I just find that it goes with a lot of outfits because it's a nice neutral color. It's really comfortable, and it's just a nice hat that will go from summer to winter really easily. It is wool, so it's a little bit on the warm side, so if it's still super warm where you are, it might not be the right hat, but I really like it because we have a mild, cooler climate in Seattle, so it just makes sense to have a lot of hats like this for year-round. The other fashion accessory that I've absolutely been loving this month is, of course, chokers. They are so 90s fabulous. I remember the old school like tattooed choker, which I also have, um, from my youth in the 90s, and I've absolutely been loving this particular choker from Boohoo because it's black, it's like this suede ribbon, and it has these aglets at the end that are metal. They're kind of like a, I don't know what color this is. It's kind of gold, but also looks a little rosy. It goes with a lot of different colors. I've definitely done some mixing of metals because it's hard to tell really what color it is. So anyway, um, I've absolutely been loving this one and I think it's like six bucks or something. So I'll link it below in case you want to get it. it. I've used it so many times with so many different outfits. Just been loving it. I'm even wearing a choker today. This one is actually a belt that I've now converted into a choker. So you do you. Pick a, pick a choker type that you absolutely love and give it a try. Another fashion item I've absolutely been loving is this jacket from Blank NYC. This jacket made it was like on everybody's list during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And unfortunately I bought one and my order got canceled. I bought the burgundy one um, and it got canceled and I was really, really bummed. But then I found the same jacket on Shopbop about a couple weeks later and ended up buying it in olive, which I think actually ended up being a great choice because it goes with everything, but it's different enough from anything else I have in my wardrobe that I feel like it's very unique. And I just love the color. It's a really nice Nice, heavy suede it feels really high quality and it's under $200 so I really think you can't go wrong now I think Shopbop may be sold out of this jacket now but I did see that Nordstrom has restocked this jacket and I will link that below I'll link it to Shopbop if they have it available still but if it's not then it'll be a Nordstrom link down below I've also been absolutely loving this bag I got this in a stitch fix in July and at first I was like oh yeah I really like this I don't know what I'll wear it with though because I don't have a blue bag and I don't really wear a ton of light blue but what I've really loved using this bag for is kind of being a pop of color in a lot of outfits. It's just so different from most of what I wear that it really stands out. And I think it's a really awesome dupe for the Chloe bag that is super, super expensive. And it looks very similar without being a total ripoff of that bag. And it's just really nice and high quality for being like fake leather. And it's got the cutest little interior as well. I'm not sure if you can tell, but those are, um, it's got little feather, like peacock feather details. It's got an inside pocket and then a zip pocket as well. And then under the flap, there's another pocket. So lots of really awesome options for storage. And it's a great size for like a small wallet, your phone, keys, and like a lip gloss. It's just a great like little handy size um, for every day. And obviously as a crossbody, absolutely love crossbodies. They're so comfortable and easy to wear. So that has definitely been a favorite. All right, and the last fashion item that I have been loving are these Steve Madden pistol booties. These are awesome. They're so comfortable. They are like a great neutral piece because hello, they're black and they go with everything. I love the pointed toe. I think it makes me just look taller and they also kind of just look badass. And I love that they're on, they're very comfortable because they've got like this stretchy thing here, this elastic piece. So you don't have to zip into them. And overall, they're just really great for the price point. I think they, I spent about 80 something dollars on them um, during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and they are back up to regular price so they're a little bit more expensive now but if you're looking for a black booty that's comfortable and not terribly terribly expensive that is real leather then I highly highly recommend these pistol booties I think you should check them out and try them on oh one thing about these though is they do run small I had to order a half size up for my normal size normally wear a six and a half these are a seven so definitely recommend ordering at least a half size up all right and just a few more favorites I thought it would be fun to talk about a little food because who doesn't love food so the first thing 
thing I'm gonna talk about is Lolly and Pops chocolate bars. Oh my gosh, these are so good. If you have a Lolly and Pops near you, definitely go check these out. Okay, first of all, how cute is this packaging? It looks like a little book, like little books in on a shelf, right? Isn't that adorable? So um, I absolutely love their strawberry champagne. It is so delicious that I ate the whole thing already. It's so good. Um, and their other chocolate flavors are awesome as well. And if you haven't been to Lolly and Pops and you have one near you, you should check it out because they have these little candy jars that you can fill up with as much candy as you can fit in for a flat price. And then if you bring the candy jar back, you can then fill it up. Dave and I did that recently and it was really fun to try a bunch of random candies. And now that we know like what we like and what we don't like, we can go back and refill it for five bucks and um, get exactly what we want. So that was a lot of fun and I will definitely, we're definitely going to be going back there soon. Also, they have those rosé gummy bears that were super popular on the internet for a minute. So if you're interested in trying those, those Lolly and Pops has them. They also have champagne gummy bears and both are super, super good. Something sweet but isn't as bad for you are the cotton candy grapes. I finally saw these in a store near me and as you can tell, I've ate almost all of them, but um, these are really weird in a good way, of course, because I love green grapes and it's really funny. They do actually taste like cotton candy. Not quite as sickly sweet, but it definitely tastes very similar. So I had fun trying these out this month. So if you haven't tried these yet, I definitely rec recommend it, especially if you love grapes already. Another product that I just discovered is Angie's Holla Drizzle Boom Chicka Pop. Now I've had the Holla Drizzle popcorn from Angie um, before, but it's the like Christmas one. So it's like peppermint and there's like a chocolate sea salt one or something like that that comes out around Christmas time. This one is candy corn and it is really good. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really think it tastes exactly like candy corn. It's almost like a marshmallowy vanilla orange flavor, but it's really, really good and it's not as terrible for you as say like other Halloween candy. So if you're looking for something that gives you that like sweet candy vibe without being too candy-y, then I definitely recommend checking this out. Really, really good. We found this at, or I found this, at our local Fred Meyer. Um, I've also seen this brand carried at Target. So those are the two places I would check. All right, finally, something that's actually fairly healthy. This is a um, something called the Perfect Bar. And I recently got this delivered to my house randomly from um, Zico Coconut, they're really, really nice. They have a, like a facility in the Seattle area and they randomly drop off packages at my doorstep, which is super nice of them. Thank you so much, Zico. Um, they dropped these bars off and they have to be refrigerated and I really, really like them. So this is the almond butter flavor and I'm gonna be perfectly honest, this is not my number one favorite. My number one favorite is the carob chip flavor. Oh my gosh, it is super, super good. The only thing I'm not super crazy about in regards to these is the that the calories are a little bit high for somebody of my size. They're about 310 calories a bar, so that is a little high. Um, so for this, I would use it as an entire meal replacement. I wouldn't really be able to eat any snacks. But these are a great breakfast meal replacement, especially when I'm in a hurry and I don't really have time to eat breakfast. I grab one of these on my way out the door and they're very filling for you know being just a bar and I really have been enjoying these. So I'm definitely gonna be searching out those carob chip ones. They are super delicious. If you like chocolate, and you like having options like these um, as a meal replacement, definitely recommend those. And finally, for things that didn't quite work out for me the way I'd planned this month, the first two items, these are all beauty products, the first two items are the Wet n Wild Color Icon Metallic Liquid Lipstick. I thought these would be very similar to the Milani Liquid Lipsticks that are metallic, and I had, had been having a hard time finding some of the colors that I was looking for, so I picked these up at Rite Aid thinking that they were very similar. Unfortunately, not so. The thing about these are, yes, I guess they're a liquid lipstick if you consider like melting down a regular lipstick, what that might be like, but they're not a long lasting formula. As you can see, they're very tacky and they don't um, ever fully dry down. See, it just, I accidentally just bumped it and I got it all over my hands. So not quite what I was looking for with these. There's nothing wrong with them per se. They're just not exactly what I had anticipated when I purchased them. So if you're looking for something that is very similar to the Milani metallic liquid lipsticks or like the Jouer ones, um, these are not it. These are more of a lip gloss liquid lipstick type formula that doesn't dry down. I also had three fails from the brand LA Color 
colors. They were really nice and, and gave me a gift when I worked with um, Bartell a few months ago. Um, Bartell Drugs is a local drugstore here in the Seattle area and um, they were doing a spring beauty event and while I was very happy to receive those lip glosses from LA Colors, those are amazing. I absolutely love those and some of their matte lipsticks. I was really disappointed in their graphics liners um, and this was something I tried to use during it. Not this color. I tried the purple in the tutorial and it was a big fat fail. I had to remove it with makeup remover because it just wasn't going on the way I wanted and that is the problem with this. If you can see right here, it is not pigmented enough at all. It doesn't really work as an eyeliner in the way that I was expecting. It's kind of a sheer liquid formula. Just not what I wanted when I was looking for a liner like this. Um, so for that reason, it's just not my favorite product. And the other product that I didn't like from LA Colors was their eyeliner pencil. I did try their auto eyeliner, which I thought was much nicer. This is a pencil and it's in this bright cobalt shade, but unfortunately it just kind of doesn't perform the way I had anticipated. I was looking for something a little bit creamier that I could use on my um, inner waterline to get kind of a pop of color. And this just isn't the right formula for me. It's just not as soft and pigmented as I wanted. So for that reason, this is another product that I really can't recommend. So that's everything in this month's Digs and Duds. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be filming videos twice a week on the go forward. So catch my next video this coming Friday. Can't wait to see you. Bye.